What's happening guys, it's Jack here from Golf Magic. Now I was recently invited by Sun Mountain Sports to the Wisley, which our UK viewers will know is a very fancy golf club in Surrey. And now the reason for the invite was to be one of the first people to try out the new Finn cycle. So let's take a quick look. So guys, the Finn Cycle isn't ready for the UK just yet, but it will be launching in the US in the coming months. So for all our viewers from the United States, you can expect to see the Finn Cycle at uh, over 200 golf clubs in the United States so far. That's how many orders have been. Um, now these cost around $3,600, so that's each. So not cheap at all, but um, Sun Mountain and golf clubs are pretty sure you're going to have a lot of fun at riding these. The original design that I was riding has a chain and motor at the back. But after some initial feedback, the new design has the motor built in the, into the back wheel. Now, I've never driven a scooter or a motorbike before. I've always driven a car. But um, these were really easy to drive. Um, took to it really quickly. There's a small uh, throttle by the thumb. Simply push that and off you go. Um, you've also got front and rear brakes, making it a really easy scooter to, uh, to ride. It fits carry bags and cart bags. And as you can see, it sort of sits in between your legs, looking like the body of a motorbike. Now you're all probably sitting there wondering how fast do these go? So the fin cycles can go up to 15.5 miles per hour. Now it might not sound like much, but trust me, when you're driving them and you put it on full power, they do feel quite zippy. Um, one of the ideas of the fin cycles is to speed up the pace of play uh, compared to if you were sharing a buggy with someone. Obviously if you're sharing a buggy with someone, great for the social aspect of it, but you might be playing a hole where one of you hits the ball way left and one of you hits the ball way right, so you've got to drive to both balls. Uh, so the idea being that if you're renting one of these for yourself, you simply go to your own ball and it will speed up the pace of play. We've had a lot of people on social media saying that surely they're going to damage courses, but the wheels are no different to the ones uh, used by greenkeepers, so they don't damage the turf. And when I was using one at the Wisley, I kept checking behind me and you couldn't see anything different than you would with a buggy. Uh, as well as mentioned damage, um, some of you have said these are going to cause a noise problem, but no, these are electric, so they're really not noisy. They're no louder than a buggy would be. Um, while I was playing, there's a few other guys using them around me, and it doesn't put you off your shot either. A lot of other people on social media have said that these are just asking for trouble, that you're going to get a lot of idiots that are trying to race them or fly over bunkers with them. Um, yes, you will get an odd idiot trying to drive these, but I mean, I think it's safe to say we've all seen videos of people uh, racing buggies, and I've seen, a, I've seen a few videos of people crashing buggies into bunkers as well. So these are only as dangerous as the idiots sitting on them. Um, we've also had comments on social media from people saying that this ruins the social aspect of golf. Now, I can understand that. When you're walking, obviously, you enjoy the, the exercise and speaking to your playing partner or playing partners. Um, if you're sharing a buggy with someone, again, you can still have a chat with them uh, while you're going around. Now, I get that side of it. Um, if you are someone who prefers to walk, then these probably won't be for you. Um, but I do feel like a lot of resorts in America and in Spain and other places like that, the courses are really long and you need a buggy. Uh, they can also be very hilly. Um, so something like this can really add some fun to your round. Um, but I'm also a walker, guys. I prefer walking when I'm playing golf. Um, I like the exercise. I like you, a lot of you I like the social aspect. But trust me, I've, I've driven one of these and they are really fun. Um, so I think 
if you saw one of these for 25 quid to rent for around a golf, I think you'd be silly not to give it a go. But guys, I want to know what you think. Um, what do you think of the Finn Cycle? If one of these are at your golf club or a golf club you visited, would you give it a go? Um, let me know. Leave your comments below. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And as always, thank you for watching.